Ford Park. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside Gary Rogers, and uh, this roster we have here in Men's Skate Ford Park is crazy, Gary. Headlined by Jagger Eaton, who took gold in this event at X Games Chiba just a few months ago. Last year, Jagger came and did his thing. Literally, you already know I'm one of Jagger's biggest supporters. That's my little bro. <laughs> I remember when he actually put that run down, I was like, yo, he's, he's got this in the bag. And now, even today, watching him practice, he might just do it again. But then again, you never know. From a podium threat in streak to winning gold in Park and Chiba. So Jagger Eaton took that gold medal in X Games Chiba, but it's actually Liam Pace who won gold here at the CATF last summer, Ooh, Gary. Liam, who all of a sudden just popped into my life of skateboarding, has been going savage and big ever since I've seen him, so. Yeah, look at this lineup again. Keegan Palmer's been skating this park as well as anybody. Kieran Woolley as well, so. It's an international field with Brazil, Australia, and the U.S. represented. A lot of guys feel like they got like home field advantage skating here, huh? <laughs> I'm glad you said that because in talking to our research team, it seemed like every skater said, I love that it's at CATF because that's my home course. And it's like, Let's see everybody who's says this Let's is see their who really, like Who got the key? Who really skates here like the who most? Who really has the key? <laughs> Could it be Tate Carew, who's from San Diego, California, who will be dropping in first? This is his second X Games appearance. Just get ready here. Let's just get normal real quick. Is he rocking the Lizzie's? Can you see I don't want to confirm with the nine and mess his whole there. contract up, but yep, them the Lizzie's. They got the flip flap on the back. You pull them up, got her name on it. We saw Tate at X Games Chiba compete in Vert, Vert Best Trick, as well as Park. But now we see him at the CATF. Oh, starting off tail grab five. Busting that front side still. The kick flip, Ooh, kick flip grab over that. Coming through front Smith grind. I like Tate's way he be putting his lines together. I rock with it. it, it it's almost like it's not too powerful because it's got a lot of chill to it. But look, see, back over crook and coming to the. Ah. A little manual to make up time. What you got? Front blunt? Okay. Yeah, I like the way Tate puts together his lines. I really do. I favor him. The 17-year-old Tate Carew entering his senior year at Point Loma High School, not far senior from year? here in Vista, California. Oh, man. Take another look. I'm old now. Coming through. Nice three grab over that hip. Look at the posture as he spins 360 over there. Wow. Oh, you see his back foot? I see it. <laughs> so Tate Carew kicks things off here at Men's Skateboard Park. A look at our format. We've got nine skateboarders. It's a 36-minute jam, 40 seconds per run. The best run counts. Remember that, Gary. It's not about necessarily overall impression of all your runs. If you okay. can put together that, that single one. banger run, you skate home away with a gold medal. Ooh. Luis Francisco out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, in his third X Games appearance. We saw him at X Games Chiba finish ninth in park. It's actually his birthday today, ain't it? That's right. Is that confirmed? Is he 21 or 22 today? I didn't do the math. I've never done the math. Was I that never double flip? 22. <laughs> Was that double flip melon? 22 That's years nice. old today. What a birthday gift if if we could give him a medal. I know, bro. Or like if we don't, then his birthday is ruined and it's our fault. I don't know why you would focus on the <laughs> negative like that. Glass half full, man. Good first run for Luis Francisco. Look at this. This is a new one. By the way, he lives in Brazil, but he is a regular at this facility. At the okay, CATF. so that's why he's double foot melon. Okay, for sure. <laughs> So a really strong first run for Luis. Yeah, no little first run jitters, huh? Except for Tate's kind of back foot on that first. Sorge. We have not seen Alex Sorgente, who has won this event twice before since 2019, Gary. Oh, my 
goodness. Last now, time we saw him was in Minneapolis when he won bronze. Now the way Alex skates versus the way that Tate was skating is there's a lot of power. Stomp, tail smacks, running out because he can't slide because he can put on knee pads. But Alex has a lot of power when he drops in. So, so much emphasis on all his tricks. So Alex is going to call it a first run, but 2017, 2018 consecutive gold medals at X Games Minneapolis. He was truly the one to beat in Man, this event so once upon fun. a time. Our next skater, always a podium threat, Tristan Rennie. Tristan just rips, period. Smooth backsmith over that. Front feet on that corner. Down to earth dude too, cool people. I like Tristan. Then again, I don't know who's actually like cool because <laughs> we mess with everybody. So I don't know if they just be being nice to me. <laughs> oh, trying to throw that five at the end a little after the buzzer. I feel like he dropped in without a like real line set. Does that kind of feel like, like that? Felt like that watching it. Like he just went like, I'm going to just skate, see what I like. Maybe didn't really practice something he put together. By the way, I don't know if you were watching the Dave Mira BMX Best Trick Contest yesterday I should have been. in this bowl, but Daniel Sandoval actually hit the ceiling. Oh, bro, I've seen that clip. Jack Show. If you haven't, clip. go to xgames.com. He good? Check out X Games Social. It is was he, unbelievable. He's fine. He, is he okay? He got out of it, no problem. One of the craziest things I've ever seen. Here at the CATF. Because okay, I wanted to laugh, but I didn't know what happened. Well, we turn our attention now to Kieran Woolley, who's got a silver medal that he earned at X Games Chiba just a few months ago. Kieran came through young beast and everything that skateboarding likes. Every time he drops in at eight, like over in Copenhagen or wherever he at, we turned up. We like when he drops in the boat. He brings that. 18 years old, out of Australia, but he has been living in San Diego for the last year, which means he's been skating here a ton. Okay, so it's another one of these people that I think he got home field advantage. All right. Kieran also skating for Monarch Project, Leticia Buffoni and Sky Brown's skateboard company. I watched that video. Now, soundtrack, no. Skating, 110,000%. That team is kind of a mixture, and Kieran on there, as you see, he comes through, kickflip grab. Kieran being on there, it's a good team, a good young team, and I'm proud of Sky and Leticia for putting something that together like that. That's beast. They just need a DJ. <laughs> wow. And that run puts Kieran in right the second, second place early in this contest. There you see dabbing up Gavin Botker, who's next to drop in, who earned silver last summer here at the CATF. Starting off strong. Smacking that tail. Didn't even make that much noise though since he's so tiny. Very little grab. We've been watching Gavin at X Games since the next X Am oh, contest okay. starting back in 2017, Gary. Last summer was his first shot with the big dogs. And he got on the podium. Front lip. Speed check. Trying to come around for something. Trying to get good speed. Crook fakey. Oh, that's probably at the time though. Don't even, don't even act. Just you should have just stopped <laughs> after that crook. <laughs> Gavo out of Oceanside, California, another one of the skateboarders who calls the CATF home. Look at that body burial, burial <laughs> coming through long crook grind fakey. Jeez. He's still crooked. <laughs> Yo! And 15, he's our youngest competitor in this field, and he is now in first place. But will he stay there with this next skater set to drop in? 19 year old Keegan Palmer. It's his third X Games appearance, but many have him picked to potentially win this event here today, Gary. 
as you see with that kick with back lip. And then the front feeble. Man, these dudes are like young legends, like already. <laughs> so Keegan Palmer will have to wait for a stronger second run. He's also a great golfer. Did you hear him say I'm an absolute golf addict? If you think crackheads are bad, you should see me at golf. That is in our research He really notes. said that. That's a Keegan Palmer quote. That's not a Gary Rogers original quote. Here's Liam Pace's first run, our defending oh. gold medalist. Why does he treat every run like a viral moment? <laughs> like, bro, just get a run in, dude. He's like, I got to go off the wall. Now you got to, oh, good front 180. And the cat back deal. Force at which this young that man, truck. 19 years old, skates with is That unreal. truck almost stayed on the coping. Glad he got up out of there. Oh, oh and he goes big down. Big Gary, oh. remember how small Liam Pace was when he was 15 years old yes. at the X Games Next X Am contest when we met him in Minneapolis back in 2018. You know, a lot of these kids are growing up. Right? And he is hulked out now. <laughs> Hulk? 19 years old. You wouldn't say Ant-Man? <laughs> Ant-Man. <laughs> so that will do it for Liam's first run. And now we turn our attention to Jagger Eaton, a gold medal at X Games exactly. Chiba. Jagger told me he's going to only listen to Cater to You by Destiny's Child. That's what he said? Today, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't lie to you. That's not what he just said. To. I just lied to everybody. <laughs> Gary will lie to you. Yes, I will. Jagger no, will not please. lie to Gary, no, is what I'm trying to say. No, so Jagger Eaton, who started off his X Games career as a teenager in Big Air, and then we saw him transition to street. Now he's street and park, and he's beasted everything. Yeah, and making sure that he's really efficient while being all around. The AirPod just flew out, it's over with. But, um, So Jagger's first run. Grab free run, too. In the books. That's That was special. By the way, Jagger's not 100% right now. He's had a little bit of a hip injury. Had to pull out of men's street skate yesterday to focus on part, and uh, for good reason. Does not look like it's affecting him here today. That's good. And he put together something solid. Good enough to put him into that bronze medal spot. So Gavin Botker holding on to the top spot through run one here at Men's Skateboard Park. We'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. That was our Geico Music Mix X Games 2022 edition as we come to you from the CATF in Vista, California. One run in here in our men's skateboard park final. And it's the kid, Gavin Bacher, the youngest skater in our field, leading the way right now in first place. So here's Tate Carew, currently sitting in fifth, dropping in for his second run. Good five. See what I'm saying? Oh. 
you see what I shouldn't have said? She's just been quiet. Did you get running your mouth, Gary? I feel like you've been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> you it don't came know. out too easily. You don't know that. And so Tate Carew, after having a full pull on his first run, goes down early on attempt number two. As we close in on the 25-minute mark. I know, right? Man. Of all things. How about Luis Francisco sitting in that silver medal spot here in his third X Games appearance? In search of that first ever X Games medal. That front smith the back smith combo was eyes. That's like some type of hard flip grab. Mmm. back B. Pumping up for something. Oh! What? I said, Gary, there's no way he's going to pull this thing around. <laughs> Look at how high he got. I know we only show makes, but I'm going to need to know that fail. Yeah. After that good back Smith through that corner. It looked like he was going to do like a double flip through his legs, catching and bringing it around. We got a name for that yet? Look at this. He was going to catch it and like. This was like a crossover. Yeah, <laughs> like. And he could have done it. I don't know. Maybe it was wow. just like in his head. Like. Perhaps a preview of what's to come from young Luis. So here's Alex Sogente, owner of three X Games medals, sitting in eighth. Five and through there. Good 360. You're that tail smack. Obviously, we know He's Alex. He's kind of through here right now. From his park prowess, but it should be noted, the first time we saw him at X Games, 2012 in Los Angeles, competing in big air. Take a deep breath. Put your hands over your head. Alex Sergente trying to catch his breath, clearly in a little bit of pain. Medical coming over, giving that nod, which we like to see. Nah, Sorge is one of the funniest people in the world, bro. <laughs> like, he is such, like, just to take the damper off him, fall right now, he bro, is heck of funny. I love Skating for so disorder. Alex Sergente. One time we was laying in the back of this like this trunk. That's weird. Anyway, <laughs> I don't need. Do, no, no, do you want to get context? Free, he just started freestyling. Okay. It was hilarious. Okay. It was enough seats in the car. <laughs> you lead with that, Gary. Oh, okay. So here's Tristan Rennie on his second run. By the way, that run from Alex, even though he went down. Moved him up a couple spots in a sixth. Yeah, because he was going off. Even though he was cruising, he still did some stuff. Yeah, Tristan Rennie is. He's got a bag of tricks, man. Yeah, he does. Look Deep, at this. bro. Everybody, every skater's got their thing, too. You got a shot. He does the tongue thing. Tristan, like, does the hand. Alling over the entire bank wall. And Kieran Woolley wasting that no run? time. <laughs> that crouch, Sheesh. the speed. Sitting just outside oh, of podium going. position right now. Big bonus. Can he put one together? Oh! Big old fall. Big foot grab. Mm. Oh! Whoa. 270 lift. Front feeble around the corner. What you gonna finish out with? A little after time. Oh! Plant fakie. Gary, we saw him make it to the X Games debut at uh, X Games Chiba. Keep going. 
And he did double duty. He skated street and park. And that was the first time we saw him on this stage, and I was blown away yeah. at just how good he is. So he's like, he was a little newer to you at that time? Yeah, no, Karen, he's been on one of my homies' radar for a minute. He was like, bro, you have to watch his clips. You know, I'm not really on social, so when I see him, I'm like, yo. And now that he's, he got that Monarch part, I got to really see him like on a film outside of a skate park, so. His dad was a pro motocross racer in Australia as well. Wait, what? Okay. And Kieran Woolley takes over first place. What a run for Kieran. That was a jump. That was a leap. That was particularly. So he just took the top spot away from this next skater, Gavin Botker, who bumps down to second. Gavin looks like his run wasn't all the way done, so we'll see. Okay. He's so little pumping through, bro. <laughs> Go, Gavin. Yeah, it is amazing, even at his size, Gary, the amount of power he is able to carve with. He'd be coming off of these walls. I'm like, yo. Oh. You don't think he's going to have enough speed, and then he gets there, and he's actually going really high in the air, too. He's able to generate it. And second place is where he stays. Look at him. <laughs> so Keegan Palmer had a throwaway run on his first attempt. Here he is for run number two. Oh, back Smith. Oh, was he going to try to kick a backsmith? And again, Keegan going down early. Seems like he's trying to like push himself, though. Was absolutely crushing practice all week. Really was. Annihilating Yo, this ball. Ridiculous. I went up there and watched. I was like, oh, yeah. So here's Liam Pace sitting in seventh. Our five gold medalist from last summer. Good five in that bank wall. Going off the actual wall. Front feeble. Mm -hmm. Flow down, what you got? About eight seconds. Turn up then. You see, I was, I was quiet as kept. It's rare for me. I don't like shutting up. The amount of real estate. <laughs> Liam Pace just covered there. Medical on edge. I love him. Shout out medical, for real. <laughs> that was wild. And it was close, too. He threw that real late. Good to see Liam's okay. Now Jagger dropping in. Just got to get the track. Jagger's sitting in that fourth spot right now. He's not grabbing his board, huh? That makes everything 10 times more difficult when you don't grab your board, especially off pool coping. Do that switch ollie like that? That switch front side? So that'll do it for Jagger even second run. Fourth place is where he will stay. Maybe that song wasn't it. Whatever song you put on. <laughs> well, I've just been told that Jack Matroni has found a goat out on the course. Jack, is that true? What? 
This is true. I'm hanging out here with one of my favorite people on and off the snowboard. This stat's insane. 21 X Games medalist, Mark McMorris. We're in your hometown. What's it like? I know you're a big skateboard fan. What's it like being on the sidelines, not competing, and watching these guys throw down? It's definitely less nerve-wracking, but nerve-wracking to say the least at the same time. These guys are absolutely going for it. They're, they're essentially snowboarding on their skateboards. They, the, the level they skate at is mind-boggling. Is there anything, uh, or do you wish that you were out here skating too? I know you're a big skater. I've seen your clips on Insta. Yeah, yeah I like to skate, but not at this level. And everything is so much bigger in real life. It's really fun to come watch it in real life. Well, let's keep watching it. Thank you, Mark. I'll let you go hang with Coco and the crew. That's so rad to have Mark McMorris out here in the mix. Savage. Winter athletes supporting summer athletes. That's what X Games is all about. So Kieran Woolley still leading this thing. Tate Carew sitting in fifth, drops in for his third run. Let's see if he can finally put it together like he usually does. In the air. Oh! That's the ghettoest bird I've ever seen. Yup, oh, came down like a little weird on that one, but still putting it together. Oh, oh. Well, that would have been a nice little 180 switch crooking it up. And Tate Carew goes down on run number three as we take another look. Look at that. Kind of making sure you get a bird, then through the Indian there. Got another little one ace, like 270 hard flip grab. So fifth is where he will stay. Next to drop in, Luis Francisco for his third run. I love the way Luis flips his board, Gary. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely smooth. Okay. Now you just gotta get that flippity do whatever he was trying. What is yeah. that? Oh. It looks like Luis trying to catch his breath. Okay, I, I can read lips. I know exactly what he called out. <laughs> Can't say it on TV. <laughs> Hope he's all right. So Francisco, so close on that last trick, stays in third I place. I see who smiles more, Sky Brown and that monster girl that we have in the background. Maybe <laughs> cheesing up a storm, bro. <laughs> Here's Alex Sergente. Gonna get wrinkles. Sitting in sixth place. Can't be that happy all the time. <laughs> okay, Sorge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Half cap one fakey. Cap the hit. You can tell he's just kind of rip riding. So that'll do it for the third run for the Lake Worth, Florida native. Take one more look. Florida came, took the world over. Yep. Jamie Foy from Florida yesterday. Winning street best trick. Defending his goal. As he always will. And Sorge staying in sixth place, but still put a good line together. That's like a good, I feel like that's one of those good ones to have under your belt to where when it gets down to crunch time, they're like, oh, you got one left, then to see like what he can just add to it. Now here's Tristan Rennie, trying to put a run together. Literally just flew over that whole bank, no grab. 
front of Smith, throwing a little five on him. Just add a little spark. Oh. He really just kind of cruising. I ain't see some of that front <laughs> Look at that little tail smack on that pole right there. Pause. I like the way he floated over that bank no grab. That was, that was crazy. So no movement for Tristan. Kieran Woolley needs to put this. one together. Look at this. Oh Look my this. goodness. Jeez. Using that Liam gap to get that big foot grab. Nose grind flying in. The step off on that bonus is lethal. Use that power then. Throw that five then. So aggressive. <laughs> yup. There's the Kieran Woolley run we've been waiting for. He Stay had boy. first place early in this contest. <laughs> Come on, man. He flew. I wish you could see how big that gap is in person. He literally glided over that with that big foot grab. A tweak on that five. And Kieran Woolley in first place. <laughs> Amazing. Gavin Bacher sitting in that silver medal spot on his third run. Another person I was overseas with, Gavin. Oh. So Gavin Bacher unable to put it down on his third run. The first Subway Series of the season is our Wednesday night baseball matchup. Aaron Judge and the Yankees have the Majors' best record, and Pete Alonso and the Mets lead the NLE's coverage of the second game of the two-game series begins at 7 Eastern on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and the app. Anybody check on the Giants? <laughs> Been a rough week for them. Don't get me started. <laughs> So Keegan Palmer sitting in ninth place. I did not expect to say that during run three of this final, Gary, but here or we ever. are. But that's but, why we put on the contests. Yeah, and that's why. We don't hand out medals during practice. No, we do not. That's so true. Oh, my! Lost an AirPod. He did, but he gained some spirituality. Oh, ho, ho. throwing that front three grab over. I'm scared for the AirPod. Five fakey. Let's see what he finishes out with. No, no slide. Oh, just ran out of time, but. But still, still. Look for that AirPod. Press the uh, Find My iPhone, and then you can get the left and right now. They updated it. They did good with that one. They didn't do. <laughs> I done lost both of them so many times. Look at this. Yo. How huge five into that transfer. You see how he put it right where he thought he wanted, but it came a not low, but his back was a little leaning. He almost slipped back a little bit, but he did not. He finessed, came in through that five fakie. Freestyle falling so yeah, see, wow. just... So Keegan finally putting a run together. And that jumps him all into the way up fourth. into fourth. Oh, okay. And here now, Liam Pace dropping in, sitting in eighth place. Nose grind. 
front feet will transfer in. Cap disaster. Inside three grabbing that hip. Coming around this corner. Building up for something, trying to get a lot of speed. We're gonna see that lay shove. Oh. oh! It's almost like as he's coming around the corners, taking a lot out of his legs to throw it, but then he's he's gonna get one. So I'm hoping for. Is it rocks? <laughs> Are you finding some pennies? Are you <laughs> find a penny, pick it up. Well, all the day, I had good luck, you heard me. Under rocks. nine minutes to skate with in our men's park final. Jagger Eaton rounding out run number three. Went down early on his second run. He did. He is not grabbing nothing. That is sketch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Jackie. Yep. Kick from back lift. Blunt kick flip. Half cap front blunt. Yep. What, a, what appears like an easy line, if right. you see, doing all those things, especially the switch, not grabbing your board, adds like twice as much difficulty. And then coming off pool coping as well. And that's not a light mini ramp blunt kick flip. That is a good, I believe, six foot wall over this, on that side. This is a deep ball. Jagger Eaton with a really strong third run, as we said, sitting in fifth place. Might even be seven feet over there. A gold medal in X Games Chiba. Send me the specs. Wow. But Jagger will not be moving up. But he'll get one more crack at it. More from X Games after this message and a word from our ABC stations. It's a, it's a party. This is how we do it seven days of the week. When the Final run time here at Men's Skateboard Park. It's the third and final day of X Games 2022. Will Kieran Woolley, in his second X Games appearance, win his first ever X Games gold? Looks that call. way. It's not a far off call Looks at all. that way in first place. But we'll see if the rest of the field can catch up here on final attempts, starting off with the San Diego kid, Tate Carew. You can have thin lips and a gold medal, right? <laughs> we don't have any sort of stat to back that up one way or another. Here's Tate Carew's fourth and final run. Wow. Fly hide in, man. So shocking that nose grinder got him. Now he's focused. Look. Tate's just smooth, isn't he? No, he really his is. His riding, his style's just smooth. Oh, we both did it to him. Yeah. Right when we talked. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to lay out for the rest of the comp. No, 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 don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, so that's it for Tate Carew. As we take another look. Ooh. That it. Whoever got that photo is up. Yeah. Right. So sixth place is where Tate stays. By the way, you're a menace. I wish they can see. <laughs> Just talking skateboarding, Gary. Yes, Luis sir. Francisco on his fourth run. Smith five. Come on, birthday boy, put it together. Yep. If you're just joining us, turning 22 years old today. Could he skate away with an X Games medal as he sits in bronze medal position? Looks that way. If he catches that double flip grab through the legs like he did that first one. Oh, I thought he was going to have a Vince Carter catch through the legs. By the way, if he does get an X Games medal, you and I should come up to him after and like say, you know, like when the group 
goes in on a mm -hmm. gift, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's from all of us. <laughs> we get say, oh, yeah, Gary and Brando, we, we chipped in on this, man. We rigged it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy V-Day. Happy V-Day, my boy. Remember us. So Luis Francisco, so good. This Look one just this. eluded him. Oh, grab it, and he grab still it, was grab like, it, give, it, give it, give it, nope. I gotta try, I gotta try, I'll go primo. Nope. <laughs> he was like, I'll oh. kick away before I go primo. So, wow. Luis Francisco stays in that bronze medal spot. But now he must wait. Alex Sorgente dropping in, sitting in seven. Okay, grab this three. Ice on that back, Smith. Man. Another back three. Oh. oh. No one wants to be flying like that. No. Mid trick, especially no. at that part of the ball. It was almost like. Just didn't turn over all the way. When he grabbed it, it was like it wasn't ready yet. But the air awareness from Sojente. And the skill from him oh, saved his life. That's what I'm saying. When you're like one of the best people out there, you find out ways to make sure you land correct. And he can't slide out because he doesn't have knee pads, so he has to run out or he saves himself. So that's beautiful. So we move oh, on to Tristan Rennie. Oh, also missing the flick. Tristan skates so fast. Chris Gregson, our follow cam, has got a hustle to capture this. But look at that. Come on, man. One of the best in the world at the follow cam. Shout out, Chris Gregson. You see Gavin Bacher, who's sitting in that silver medal spot. He'll still have to wait for the leader, Kieran Woolley, to drop in first. I don't know what Kieran does for an encore here, but it's been his day so far, Gary. Ooh, wow. Oh. Okay. Just get out of there early. Well, That's cool. now. It's always a good strategy. Was hoping he would shut the door, lock it. Turn the deadbolt. But he's left it open. Could Gavin Botker, the youngest competitor in this field, take the top spot away? The worst part of it all is that he really could. <laughs> and you will be sick that you fell on your first trip. Because Gavin is not playing. And oh. Gavin. Goes down early. A very uncharacteristic. It was almost like it was backwards. The guy's first couple runs they got, usually it's like those, you know, first run jitters. It came late for a lot of people. Final runs are getting these skaters hung up. So Keegan Palmer is just outside of podium position, sitting in fourth. I would never want Keegan to drop an after me after I <laughs> Nah. Not in competition. Never. Oh, my splack. Another five. Back tail. Front three. Back one. Now he's going to have time if he can uh, <laughs> call it. Man, that was probably just to up his score a little bit, but that five was ridiculous. That's a crazy 540 for somebody with a gap in every tube in his mouth. Sheesh. Oh, my Lord. Falling with another one. Them Burberry shorts? They appear to be. Recognize that pattern from anywhere, Gary. Mm -hmm. 
Back tail. I think he just didn't have enough speed for the final thing he was doing. Okay, he's cheering for somebody else. That's a good clip. Hey, I like that. Show what he did and then the And wow. Keegan Palmer will not move up. So even though that was a cleaned up version yeah. of what we saw in round number three, not enough to best Francisco. I mean, that double flip grab Francisco did was just something rare. You don't see that one. A lot of guys are putting together 540s. I feel like whatever last trick Keegan wanted to try to do was probably going to put him there, but he didn't get it. So here's our gold medalist from last summer. Liam Pace is sitting in eighth right now. He's got this wall ride, but he's got to land this run and do something huge, Gary. He kind of rolled on the wall that time. He didn't really like plant up there. From Feeble, 180. Cab disaster. Oh, Aaron in with you lining up. You going for it. Sweet clutch. Uh-oh. Get there. Two. One. Oh! The buzzer would have been crazy. I feel like everyone here at CATF is is waiting for something to just make them lose their minds, and that would have inevitably been it. He's been so close on it today, Gary. I can't believe he didn't get it. See, this time he came off the wall. He was riding a little bit, so he like must have came out a little more speed. But he dead at one wall. Just kind of floated it. I like how he's doing this 180 where he was like catching this slight pivot to get in the disaster without too much speed. And then look at the late shove. Right. Oh, he was I mean, on bolts. He just wasn't leaning forward enough. So he kind of flew that back. just pulled him back. Yeah. So. This is it. The last skater to drop in that could potentially impact the standings. Our gold medalist from X Games, Chiba, Jagger Eaton. He's sitting in fifth place. Again, not 100%, has had a nagging hip injury, but has looked good here today, oh. Gary. And all that hype up, and he's unable to put it down, which means Kieran Woolley wins gold. Wow. Shout out Kieran, man. In just his second X Games appearance, the 18-year-old takes the top spot in Men's Skateboard Park. Look at Jagger like giving that little, you not OG yet, but he kind of got it, you know what I'm saying? He's been winning since he was two. So it's like, he got that OG-esque, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, let's look at the run, Gary, that got Kieran the gold. He was flying through the course. He looked like, especially that five. You don't, I hadn't seen anybody kind of grind across doing that back five. Huge 540 nose grab. The 270 lip slide on that hip. It was promising. He had emphasis, he had power. And no, no, okay, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I said it earlier. That's Sorry pure. Ball. Right there. Yep. That smile says it all. That's pure. That's joy. That's skateboarding. Congratulations to Kieran Woolley and Gavin Botker with another silver. Why got and his Luis Francisco on his birthday. Why you got his own photo? Gets the bronze medal. Kieran looks sick. Kieran, that's like, <laughs> that looks like a kindergarten class photo. But let's head down to Jack Mitrani, who will be joined by our newly minted. Gold medalist. That's on TV. Congratulations, Kieran Will, your first X Games gold medal in by far one of the craziest park competitions I've ever seen. What's it like to not only have your first gold, but to be on top in a competition like that? Dude, it's a, dude, it's a real idea. Like everybody was skating so good. Keegan, Gavin, Louise, everybody skating was just next level. The competition was ridiculous. I'm so honored to take this away with me. Yeah, thank you so much for having me out here.
Thank you so much for coming out here and gracing us with your insane skateboarding skills. I mean, what was it today? It seemed like you were skating just 100%, so consistent. Was this the best day of your life or what? <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's up there for sure. I don't know, I just went in, seeing Rafi slam was a heavy one for sure. I hope he's doing good. But I just put a smile on my face and just went out there and had fun, didn't really care the result. And yeah, it worked. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, and once again, congratulations to what was one of the best skateboard street park competitions we've ever seen. Kieran Woolley, X Games Gold. Thank you so much. Wow, Kieran referencing Rafi Ueda, unfortunately, who took a big slam at practice before this contest. But Kieran Woolley winning gold in just his second X Games appearance, as we said, from Australia, but has been living in San Diego for the better part of a year, skating this CATF park regularly and it has certainly paid off Gary it definitely did earning gold today what a moment for Kieran Woolley and we got to see it at X Games Chiba a few months ago when yeah. he took that silver and we said uh oh this kid's gonna be trouble exactly and he picked up exactly where he left off taking home the top spot he truly did and if you even seen like the power he run in rolling in Doing that big, big flip grab over that gap, 5 0 you I feel like for a long time, Kieran's going to be one of those top spot dudes to watch out for. There's no question, because not only bro. does he have the bag of tricks, yes. he's only 18 years old, so he's going to grow, and he's already got the consistency. And he's having fun. So with that, he's unlocking this entire new level. Well said. Yeah, Kieran Woolley is exactly the reason why we love skateboarding. Look at this stoke, it's so real. As he wins his very first career, X Games gold medal. Y'all gotta update that photo. Almost threw up. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> his cheeks were so rosy, he was nervous. He was like, smile, Kieran. He was like, I don't want to. That's one of those words. And when you said kindergarten photo, man. <laughs> but again, how about Gavin Bakker? Going back to back, silver last summer, another silver here today. And Luis Francisco in his third X Games appearance, winning his first X Games medal, a bronze on his birthday, no less. It's been a family affair out here. How rad is that, by the way? I, I think it's amazing. Look at this. Wow. So congratulations to all our medalists here at X Games. But it's Kieran Woolley winning gold at the last event of X Games 2022. What a final day. Congratulations to all our competitors and all our winners here on our third and final day at X Games for Victoria Arlen and Jack Matrani, Gary Rogers. I'm Brandon Graham Peace. saying thank you so much for watching. Don't go anywhere. Jack and I will close this show out and run some of our favorite highlights. More from X Games when we return after this. Yes, sir.